Hello, good morning guys. Uh, my name is Rajesh Pavitran and I'm here to introduce you to Boon Tech. Um, this is a artificial intelligence powered uh, micro job platform. So we are competing with um, um, two huge corporations which is Fiverr and Upwork. So so we, the inspiration for this project is, um, this is a huge industry, a freelancing industry. It is $1.4 trillion a year. Uh, there are 77 million uh, freelancers all over the world. We have 53 million freelancers in America. And um, so there are some statistics which said, uh, which says 20, by 2027, majority of the workers will be uh, freelancing. And, um, f uh, and the millennials are actually leading the way. 47% uh, of millennials currently are freelancing. So we are going against this uh, huge uh, market. So the problem with the present uh, situation is um, there the review system and the ranking of freelancers on any platform is very basic. So we have, you can give a five star rating, you'll have a comment. So it is pretty, uh, there is no intelligence on, on the rating system. And the language barrier is huge. Uh, most of the freelancers who work on, on this platform are not really based uh, in the U.S. But we do have freelancers in the U.S., but there are a lot of, of uh, very skilled people outside of U.S. which doesn't speak English. And, but majority of the clients who hire these people are based out of U.S. or in the first world countries. So that is one of the a major problem we are trying to solve. And the, for, the, for the freelancers, as well as the clients on the platform, there is no behavior study right now on any of the platform. It's really basic. And uh, there, is a, um, there is a service fee for each, on each of these platform, which is 20%. So if you hire somebody for 100 bucks, you, the person who is actually working on the project get only like $20, oh, sorry, $80. So $20 goes for Upwork or Fiverr. On, on top of that, the client have to pay the, uh, the credit card fees, which is usually 3%, 3.5%. And um, identity protection on all these platforms, you have to give them all your information. You have to give your credit card, your uh, social, whatnot, your address and everything. So um, we are trying to solve that. And we are also, so we are a platform on blockchain, but blockchain has a volatility issue. So today, for example, Ether could be like $900. Tomorrow it could be 1,000 or tomorrow it could be 800. So we cannot have that fluctuation in this platform, especially most of the projects are like 100 or $1,000. So people is working on it cannot you uh, cannot calculate the revenue. So we have solved that issue as well in, on our platform. So um, Boontech is a, a live platform. We have web application as well as um, iOS and Android. And it is, we have an intelligent review system based on IBM Batson. So we have, um, we have developed that algor algorithm. So we feed the data into IBM Watson and then we get a score. So I'll talk about that in a bit. So we have three modules powered by AI from IBM Watson. Again, we have um, we are using IBM Watson's language uh, translator, um, uh, the personality insights, and uh, and their ID, ID protection. So we we recognize face, we recognize their ID. So there is no manual in intervention in our platform. It's all automatic. And we also uh, so. AI there is a concept called artificial intelligent quotient, which is a number we get from IBM Watson, and we also add some of our logic uh, on top of that to get the cor correct AI score, which is between one to hundred. So, in any of the basics uh, b in the legacy system right now, the ranking is like one to five. So, it's actually it's a hit and miss. But in our in our case, it's between one to hundred. So right off the bat, we are like 20 times better than any of the platform right now we have. And we don't have any crypto volatility. So we have, um, so we are using um, a concept from Steam actually. When the Steam started, they had a, they, they have something called Steam Dollars. It was pegged to Steam Dollars before, but not anymore. So we have something called Boon Dollars, which is pegged to USD. So whenever somebody hires 
a person in our platform, whatever the deposit they make, we convert that into USD and um, it is all automatic. So we have already implemented it. So when, when, when the job is done, so whatever the promised amount he has, you will get that amount. So we, uh, we solve the vol volatility issue on our platform, which is really important because otherwise nobody will use the platform. You don't know what the, what the amount you get after like a week or a month if you, uh, you sign up for a project. So we don't have that. Um, so we have uh, live language tra translators. For example, if somebody in China wants to talk to an um, American customer, you can do it in your language. So if you think about it, nobody has language problem. Only when you talk in a different language, you have the language problem. So we don't have that. We actually use um, IBM Watson as well as Google Translator. So go go back and forth, and we have to uh, we we will choose between what is the best on based on our logic, on our platform. And we don't have any service fee, so it is zero percent for everybody except for the gas or whatever the uh, transaction fee for the crypto. So that is the beauty of blockchains. You don't pay anybody anything other than uh, a small fee on, on our platform. So we do also have a revenue model, so it's just not based on the service fee. So I'll come to that later. Um, so a legacy platform has 20 percent, which is really, really high to find somebody if you think about it, you know. You, so that is one thing. So when somebody hires on, on let's say, Fiverr, and they will have a second project, uh, they will never go back to Fiverr. So they start working directly. So in our case, we will have a lot of repeat users. It would be like Facebook. You know, you it's kind of like addicted to it because the clients are protected, and the uh, and the people who work on our platform get rewards. So uh, it is amazing both ways. And ID protection, so we use facial recognition and, and uh, text and image reading capacity from IBM Watson. We use that to uh, scan for the, all the ID, their photos, and match it. And, and uh, there is no manual intervention, so people can actually uh, trust our platform because you, your ID won't get stolen or anything. So it's all automatic. So we also already, everything, what I'm speaking here, it's been implemented. Um, there is no concept. It's it's a real uh, app and web platform. So this is uh, this is our uh, main highlight. It's called AI Quotient. So oh, IBM Watson have something called personality insight based on Big Five data, which is agreeableness, conscience, consciousness, uh, extraversion, emotional range, openness, and factors including decision making. So. And, and on based on all these parameters, we will input all the, um, the communication between uh, the freelancer and the client on our platform, then the IPM will give us a score, and we add like 15 inputs from our platform based on the interaction of these users on our platform. And we, uh, so we will have like 36 parameters to, uh, to uh, rank a person. It's both for the clients as well as the freelancer. So um, on any other platform, whatever, it's from one to five. And then you can you have to go through all these comments for all the freelancers and, and see what exactly he has done. And most of the people actually don't give review. They, if, if they're happy, you know, in every review system. So like, for, for example, Yelp, only if you don't ha you're not happy with the person, you go and write a review. Otherwise, they don't. And you have to, it's up to you to choose between um, one to five. And there'll be a lot of five star, four stars. You, you know, they're, they're, so we are like far, far better. So we, we have a score from one to 100. And we can even go decimals in between one to 100. So it is um, far better right now in our platform. Uh, and the volatility, so I, I was talking about uh, the concept of steam dollars. So when somebody deposit any, so we, we have like an escrow system. So if I hire, hire you or somebody um, and I promise you, like for example, let's take the case of a, a job for $1,000 and you put that $1,000 in our system and uh, immediately once we get our money, uh, we convert that into boon dollars and uh, we actually use two blockchains. We use Ether blockchain for the transaction into our platform, but once the uh, money is in our platform, uh, we, we use our own blockchain, so we don't really have, we solve two issues. One is the volatility of the uh, cryptocurrency market, as well as the, um, the sometimes Ether uh, blockchain is very 
slow, so it sometimes takes like three hours. So I have I have personal experience with that. But once the uh, the money is in our escrow, so we use our blockchain, so it is super fast, like lightning fast, our pri private blockchain. So which which ensures that it, let's say you hire somebody for hundred dollars, the person who is assigned to do the job get hundred dollars, and um, the blockchain allows us to do that. Uh, so another co important uh, factor with any blockchain project is uh, nobody kind of think about how to bring mainstream people who doesn't have a clue about a blockchain into our platform. So in our case, we need um, clients as well as uh, freelancers on our platform. So what we have done is we allow these people to import their profile into their platform. For example, it's like when you're moving from one country to another country, you can take your home with you. So, um, so we don't really have any competitors because we don't have any service fees. So we can do, we can actually do this and not worry about any of the other uh, other factors which can affect uh, our. So we don't have any competitors in this sense. So, for example, if there is a um, if there is a freelancer who's working in Fiverr for like five years. Um, we let them import their uh, reviews and ratings into our platform so nobody has to start from the scratch. So which, is, uh, which will completely eliminate the friction and the barriers to enter our platform. And on top of that, we give rewards to, rewards to the people working on our platform, like the top uh, hiring people or the employees or, and the top earners. earners you, we get rewards to the beauty of the blockchain that you know, we allocate some funds to do that so we, we can give rewards to the, uh, to the users on uh, like top earners every, every year. And I, I believe this will help our platform to expand very rapidly because uh, there is no issue coming to our platform. We can at least they can try, you know. Uh, so this is the industry market caps of our competitors. Um, there are main two competitors. It is Upwork and Fiverr. And Upwork has 637 million uh, market uh, revenue a year, and Fiverr has 647 million revenue a year. And you need to think that this revenue they're getting without any repeat customers, only if you want to hire a new person, you go to that platform. Otherwise, let's say that I hire you and I like your work. So the next time if I have a work for you, I don't have to go through Fiverr because um, I say 20, I've saved 20 person, actually I saved 23 person if I used my credit card. So this number is including without the repeat customers. So uh, we, are, um, we are going against a huge uh, market. So this is our platform. Platform is live without any service fees. Uh, we are a scalable and secure, uh, secure platform. So we have two blockchains. So we don't really care about if Ethereum is uh, not working or it's pretty slow a day. Uh, the, we, we will have, a, so right now it's like a cash 22. We are not on the exchange. So we don't have any, a lot of uses on our platform. So once we hit the exchange, we can actually market. So we completed our token sale. That in we we are going, we are on the stage where we release our tokens and going to the exchange. So we have AI implemented. I know that there are a lot of ICOs uh, which talk about AI, but it's all concept, you know. But we have completely implemented all the AI I talked about today. Um, we have iOS and Android apps. Uh, rewards for platform users. Top uh, top five percent will get the ten percent of the market cap we increased every year uh, as rewards. And we don't have any cryptocurrency volatility. We solve that using a uh, boon dollars. So our um, this is our some metrics. Uh, our hard cap is ten million. Uh, we are a U.S. based company. We are in uh, Washington D.C. and California, and we have a total supply of five hundred million million tokens. Um, so this is an advantage, high engagement and repeat uses. That is what we accept, uh, expect. Um, versus they don't have any volatility issue. Um, so we, uh, in our roadmap, we are going to integrate um, a credit card um, or PayPal. So it's actually we have the tech, but uh, we haven't uh, made it live. So uh, that will again increase our engagement and more uses into our platform. Uh, which addresses the ad adaptability barrier every cryptocurrency project has. Uh, so this is our revenue model. So we have two revenue models. One is a freemium membership. So it, it is um, 
uh, uh, it is actually like three packages. So for, for the, we have silver, gold, and, and platinum. So silver means uh, we have like 200. So this works on bids. So people, uh, uh, somebody creates a project and you bid on that project. So we give uh, 200 bids for free. And there is another company called Thumbtack. So they charge like $25 for one bid. And uh, their revenue model is based on, you can only have, for one project, you can have only five bids. So they take, they make a lot of money on that. And um, so we have no barrier like that. It, they don't have to pay. So anybody will try it. So uh, for the first 200 bids, which is free, but they can bid anything more than $5,000 limit on a project. You know, but this is all liquid. Uh, we can play around with these numbers based on the response we get. But um, right now, uh, we have gold membership with 500 bids and platinum membership with 1,500 bids. So that is one of the revenue model. So almost all the users who are looking for projects, they will pay us because 200 bids will be over in probably like 10, 10 days, 15 days, you know? So if you are really in active in our platform. And the other revenue model is bid highlights, which, is, which exactly acts like uh, Google AdWords. So if you search anything on Google, you can see that you'll have like one, two, three ads on top pops up. So uh, Google make, actually that is the, the biggest revenue for Google. So you pay a different amount for three, all three ads. So we have the same algorithm. So if, so if let's say that for a project you have like 100 bids, um, if somebody wants to highlight their bid, they pay 5%, 3%, and 2% fee of the project. So it's, it's kind of like, um, I have, I've been a freelancer before, so I have used that, um, uh, that feature in, in freelancer.com and it's amazing actually. So we, I'm very, I'm very sure that a lot of people will use that because you know you you're working, so it's like five bucks or ten bucks. It's not a big deal. Um, so that is all I have. Um, I hope you enjoy my presentation. Uh, yeah, and if you have any questions or any um, suggestions, I'm open. Yes. So what, uh, what, uh, how much did you raise in your IPO? Uh, we raised eight million dollars. Uh, so we, our our law firm is Paul Hastings. So we had uh, like a very uh, a thorough discussion about the token. So we have to use Boon token in our platform to hire somebody. So that is the utility part of the token. So, but when it goes to the exchange, it becomes a speculative token, right? No. Uh, if you, uh, from the exchange, let's say that you want to use our platform, you have to buy our tokens. Token. So to use our platform. Yeah, so you buy from the exchanges and use that token to, uh, we don't sell the tokens. Uh, you have to get it from the exchange and then you use that token and deposit that money into, it's an ERC20 token, so we have the wallet in our s platform and you use that token and deposit it in our platform and then you hire people. Yeah. Oh, so... Um, to be honest, we have uh, we have partnered with IBM. Um, we have a uh, lot of partners. Actually, that is one of the reasons I'm here to get some partnerships and get some onboarding uh, of of clients who actually have money uh, on our platform. And uh, for the freelancers, it's actually very easy to get freelancers on on our platform because you know they they don't care because it's free. They can take all the money and they can import their portfolio. So it's pretty easy. Actually, we ran a contest and it was the re reaction was overwhelming. So we ran a contest for redesign of our platform and our app screens and we have lo a logo. So we had a lot of good uh, feedback from the freelancers. Yeah, yeah. No, see, uh, very good question in the sense that we can't really do anything about the logic. So what we do is like we just show it so that the clients, you know, they are actually used to that uh, rating system. So we gradually change their perception uh, from, from five stars to our uh, IQ score. But the, the whole concept of importing a portfolio is to make sure that uh, they have something they don't have to start from scratch, and, and they don't have to pay anything. So it makes their life so much easier. And there's a lot of hard work to have good profile on any platform, you know? Anyone else? Um, so how, what exchanges are you probably looking at selling? Uh, or what, what exchanges 
Oh, so we are a U.S.-based company. So our primary target is U.S.-based exchanges. Um, but to be honest, I really can't answer your question. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, what is the NDA stuff with the exchanges. So I, I, but, you know, we are going to, gonna, to ex get hitting exchanges, spending money, that's it, you know. And um, we're going to do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we use a couple of APIs. Uh, one is GDAX API and the Coinbase API, and we have developed our own algorithm to do that. So whenever we get some any uh, not any ERC twenty, our token and Ether, so we take that and hit the um, GDAX and and Coinbase and convert that into um, Boon dollars, which we call it's very stable and pegged with USD. So it is. Uh, we have a patent pending on that. Actually, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Anybody else? All right. Um, thank you very much. I really hope that you like our project, and I'm so excited to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you.